In this video from Casio Help, we're going to give you a brief tutorial of how to process sales on the SEC 3500 register. How you process transactions will vary depending on how the machine's been set up, but there are some um, basics which will remain the same. So the first thing is to obviously make sure you've got the key in the reg position. So we've got this key in on the reg mode. We can tell we've got because we've got reg on the display. So this means we're in the sales position. Um, if you've got cashiers set up on the machine, which I don't, you'll also have to make sure you're logged in by pressing the cashier number and then the CLK hash button. If you've not had this set up or not set it up yourself, then you won't have to do this, so there's nothing to worry about. So you basically get on with start selling your items. So if you had your items pre-programmed onto the keyboard, you simply press the relevant button and it'll pre-sell that item at the preset price and description. And you can either keep pressing the button or you have a multiply button here. So you type in the quantity, multiply button, and then press the button again. It will sell that quantity of the item. Um, if you haven't got your buttons uh, preset, you type in the price without pressing the decimal point and then hit the appropriate department button. So on this machine, you've got up to 72 different buttons, which can be left unprogrammed can have tax and VAT rates set up on them, can be pre-programmed to be a specific product or just given a name. Um, you've also got PLUs on the machine which you access via the PLU button here. So I've got number one PLU programmed, so when I press one PLU, same way as the buttons, um, it brings up the item and the price. Uh, so that's how you would enter the items on a transaction. Once you've finished entering all the items, you press subtotal and then you, if you're taking a cash payment, if the customer's handed over £40, it's best practice to type in the 40 and then hit the cash amount 10 key here, which is your cash button. Um, the reason why we typed it in is because the change is now displayed, so it's on the display here and also on the receipt if you've got the receipt set to print out. So it makes it less likely that you give an error or make an error when handing over the change. You can have the receipt switched on or off, so if you don't want a receipt printing out of every transaction, you just double press this button here. Um, that'll turn the receipt off, and then if you've activated it, you've then got this button here, which will issue a receipt on request. It does only work for the last transaction, and it's a feature that isn't programmed as standard on the machine, so I'll have a video at the end of this one showing you how to set that function up if you've not got it set up. Um, take a payment by card, so if we ring for another transaction, um, I've got a video showing you how to read. This is a tender button, so the till has two default tender buttons, one called cash and one called CHK or check. Obviously check's a bit old hat now, so I've got a video showing you how to reprogram that one to be a card button, but for the purposes of this video, because a card payment is always the exact amount, you'd simply hit the button without any need for typing in the monies handed over and the transaction will just process. Um, so yeah, that's a brief overview of how to use the machine. There's plenty of other videos, some of which will be appearing on screen now, which you're welcome to watch. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit casiohelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.